<laughs> where it's paused. Hi, Brazers. Okay, Foodie Beauty just went live. I'm not going to stay very long. It is titled Let's Bees. I just want to hear about her so-called date, a supposed date. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to check this out. I figure let's go ahead and watch it together. Oh my God, I had a wonky eyelash the whole time. I guess. The fudge. Oh, my stomach's growling. Anna Loverly. Ready, set. Bees, welcome to Very Important Beezers. That okay. dress has been on three dates with no wash. It's washed. No, you it think, isn't. Do you think anyone would come near me if it, actually just when I don't wash my clothes, like other than underwear, they just smell like perfume mostly or cooking or whatever. Other than underwear. Hello. Okay, let me just get my eyelash back on. Okay, like, no wonder he was staring into my eyes. Fuck. Oh, he's hold probably... on. I guess I should say really fast. I went toward... <laughs> she went live not that long ago, a couple of minutes ago. I went towards the beginning, so the chat isn't going to match up, just because I wanted to hear everything we need to hear. I'm wondering why my eyelash is coming off. Why do men not realize I have a wig on, either? It's like, I'm like, this is not my real hair. He's like, really? <laughs> uh-huh. Dude! Oh, my God. All right. All right. So, I had a wonky eyelash. I'm looking in his eyes like this. Wait, like this. Wait, That's close. too close. Back up. Back up, please. Oh, my God. Look at my eyelash. I no, know. he's not going to call me back. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't think your eyelash is going to be the reason why he doesn't call you back, but okay. <laughs> we'll play along. Um. Oh, God. Luckily for me, I usually go for those guys that look at personality and heart over looks because well i'm just kidding uh-huh stupid eyelashes too pale too pale hi pocket girl oh take the hair off too thank See, monica said you look really happy she does I i'll give her that you all right let's talk let's wait, talk. i'm gonna wait for everyone to come in here Let's see. I cannot see Alyssa. I don't know why. Did you block Alyssa? Hi, Chachi. So, I'm in love. I mean, already. Like, oh, no, brother. I'm not in love. But I had the most amazing night. Like, this guy is unbelievable. Like, an amazing person. He, um, mm -hmm. from the sounds of it, an amazing dad. Um, has a really good career. I'm not going to dox him, so I'm not going to say, I'm going to be very vague. Okay. But I'm protecting this one at all costs. Starfish! Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't starfish, but yes, we did um, make out. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I want to make a boy so bad. Um, This man is beautiful. Like, he's Egyptian. Mm -hmm. He's from Egypt, but he was living... Again, another guy from Qatar, because he was working there. So it seems like Qatar is near Dubai. So he has a really good job, really good head on his shoulders. That's debatable if he has a really good head on his shoulders and he wants to date you. I'm not being mean, but you don't exactly have your stuff together. Your life is kind of, uh, not kind of, your life is very chaotic. So what? I don't believe he has a good head on his shoulders one bit. We talked and cuddled up. Like, he's very affectionate. Like, I need that. Like, he would grab... I love your soft hands. He's, like, amazed by my my softness. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, he's like, I want to hug you. So he kept, like... <laughs> and he's, like, six foot something. He's tall. He's got a good build. He's gorgeous, man. He's... Ooh, he's gorgeous. He's what I look for in a man. Like, my type looks wise. Uh -huh. No, it's not the chiropractor guy. The chiropractor guy... If it goes well, I want to see him again already, like, right away. I, Does oh, he even know he went on a date with you in the first place? And he's so nice. So he's like... Is he aware of it? Okay, Vicky, sorry. I'll wait for you. Let me know when you're back. Does he drive? He drove here. He fucking drove. He, has a, he drives. He wow. has a good job. He mm -hmm. drives. Um, <laughs> he's fancy. He's over six feet. He's tall. Hi, Ashley. He has a good job, very good. He's been traveling around. He was working in Qatar, and now he's... Um, no, we didn't have sex. We made out. He's a very good kisser. Oh, gosh, that's super chat. How do we get rid of it? Go away. Make out, make out, make out. 
And I was like, because I'm like, I have a rule. I don't have sex. He's like, no problem. He looks at me. Like, I was like, I'll show you how I was. Okay, show us how you were. Story time. Wait. So, I had my... Hold on, foodie. Hold on. Lime Jello said, I'm so proud of you for not having sex and respecting yourself. If it's true, I, I, I will say I'm proud of her too. If that's true. Okay, can we get rid of this super chat? Jeez. I, I just took these off now. But I had these really heavy duty spanks on. Uh huh. So, anyways, so I'm like this. Why did we need to hear? Why, what is she going to do? And oh no. He's here. He's here. Uh huh. And I'm like this. But I have my spanks. Maybe it makes me smaller. <laughs> And I don't know how he was able to put all his arms around me, but he did. He's like, I want to hug you. So I was oh, like, this. I was trying to get a thumbnail. Who? And he was hugging me, like, and we were making out. Uh -huh. And, um, <laughs> and just cuddling and kissing. It was so nice. <laughs> He's like, I want to hug you. I was like, um, I just took them off because they're friggin' lime jello. The that, those are not panties. Those are long underwear spanks, and they they sucked everything. I couldn't breathe. Okay. Um. It's just late. I don't know. I don't mind. I don't know. I just got a good vibe from him, and so so yeah, he's probably good. gonna come back. <laughs> Samuel X stepmom arc. Chantal homemaker so so he has kids I think one is five and one is eight I don't want to talk I don't uh, want to hear about somebody else's kids they don't belong on this platform you shouldn't be talking about them you just met him leave the family alone and, um <laughs> hi Sam he um, had his children in an arranged marriage. He explained to me Okay, that. I'm going to skip because I, I just don't feel comfortable hearing about somebody else's kids like that. All right. Oh, gosh. And this is where we ended up. <laughs> Maybe thumbnail woo-woo. I don't know. She looks really happy. Um, Clyde asked, what did he say about the box mountains in your house? <laughs> he missed me. As soon as that guy left, he came down. You miss me, Chubby? You want chicken stew soon? Okay, I'll give you chicken stew. Yes, chicken stew. Make sure. <laughs> no. Um. I look happy. Thank you, Stargirl St. Monica. Hi, everybody. We're going to look at Sam because he's friggin' cute. Adorable. Did you miss me? I'm not cheating on you. Don't worry. Uh huh. Oh, yes, you have suffer. He's oh. not buying it. Oh. Yes. Look at this beige leg. Don't put it in the hole. My couch broke. Don't you uh -oh. put it in your mouth. Did you miss me, Sam? Okay, let's go a little bit more. That he was never in love with her because she was very, you know, just whatever differences. Like, they were whatever. And then he had, um, but, I mean, he did, does care for her, obviously. Like, he has the kids together. They have well, the yeah, they're still married. So, I, I would assume he still cares about her. Together and everything. He is dominant, though. He is dominant in, in the right way. He's a man. He's a man. Do you see him eating the fupa from behind? Oh, gosh. Samuel? Um, yes. Oh, gosh. No. Okay, let's go to real time. Um, just that he's, he seems like a very good dad. Um, he has two kids. We and, know. You've, uh, told us, you've told us way too many times that he has kids. We get it. We get it. Can we move on from that? <laughs> you don't need kids no i'm not like you know we both talked about that like what i'm looking for i said i'm gonna be traveling uh you know this is not you know you're gonna be traveling I am, yeah i'm happy speaking about it i'm really glad i did this because i was nervous and uh -huh. but i'm glad i did it just like holly remember she was on a date and she was happy she did it what are you hiding i know that smile <laughs> um just some intimate moments but we had we didn't have the old in out or itty be itty bo, whatever you want to call it. I am trying to respect myself. Okay, that's and good. And if he really wants to see me again, it wasn't just for sex, he will contact me. He said he's not the type for, like, one-night stands, but he he's not looking to get married either. He's not but the type for one-night stands. However, he met you late at night at your house. 
Not the movies, not a restaurant, not anything else. Your house. Come on. He just, you know, oh, we made out. We made out. The fact that he drove there is a big step. And I'm like, hey, I can pick you up sometimes. He's like, no, that's like an hour for you. I will drive to you every time. He's so nice. And he kept, like, he really liked me. He kept saying, you're so hot. And, like, kissing me and touching me. He's so, so hot. <laughs> No okay. financial str he has money. He's good he's he's financially stable. He's got a really good job. He's an engineer. There's a lot of I I find a lot of engineers from like Qatar and um I talked to a few of them. Not on an oil rig. I know what you're thinking. Uh, and, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. He hasn't asked me for anything, so there's no red flags. So far there's yet, no red yet. flags. Yeah, isn't this the first time hanging out with him? Like, I always say when you go on your first date, like, when you first meet somebody, you're meeting the representative. You know, they're always on their best, um, they always are so polite, on their best behavior. They always seem well put together. They, you know, they tell you everything kind of you want to hear. So you always meet the representative. And it's not until later, after dating for a bit, that you really learn about the person. So while you think you know everything about him and he's this amazing person and there's no red flags... Just keep in the back of your mind, yet yeah, you still have to get to know him. You still have to. All right, you guys, let's watch a few more minutes of this. Um, then I think I'm going to watch TV. I had a headache from my dentist appointment earlier, so. He seems very open, honest, very calm person. The, the vibe you give. No sex until he buys you dinner. Huh? Having a driver's license in a car is a huge bonus. Sure, Jan, no one wants a buffalo. <laughs> Well, this hot guy does. Stay mad. <laughs> She's just so happy. Hopefully a he's software real. software engineer? <laughs> no. Civil. Let him. So he used to work on, like, metros and stuff in Qatar. Like, let him romance you. I will not believe your judgment of what is good looking since Natter. But <laughs> <laughs> Natter wasn't my type physically this guy is like I, I i grew to become attracted to natter just like i did with pete's bb but at first i wasn't like wowed when i first saw him you know yeah so, nobody is but this guy when he walked up to my door i was like wow wow oh. <laughs> you know chachi doesn't so. believe you oh wait hold on she got a super chat that says um, Liliana, please don't, Chantal, please don't share any more info. This man has kids and a docs would be serious. You said you wouldn't tell us his job. Please no more. That is great advice. We're going to need a background check and a blood sample. At this point. I almost have tears in my eye. He had a job and a car. It's a, it's an improvement. And you know what? It doesn't like, there's about every day i have new guys messaging me i mean there's so many fucking fish and i'm having a really good time like after i get off my live i get all ready i do my like nighttime whatever mm -hmm. well you know what i mean lay in bed basically with my llama that's my nighttime routine <laughs> plug my phone <laughs> and like just go ham all night making connections <laughs> connections so. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Black Zillion said, girl, your eyes are sparkling. Yeah. Liliana, if Chantel, please don't share any more info. No, I won't. I hope you don't. Yes, thank you, Liliana, for your super chat. I'm not Yeah, that was really anything. good advice. She she should be careful if he has a family and he's married and everything. Um, you know, she doesn't want to destroy his life or risk his kids getting, you, you know, the info coming out about his family. That would be absolutely horrible. Anyways, you guys, I will check back in with her in the morning. I hope you guys are having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you so soon. Bye, you guys.